The Community Champion Award recognises people who make a difference to the community as a whole. Now the judges were asked to look for individuals or groups who put the needs of others before themselves and raise much needed funds for charity. The first highly commended community champion is Lindsay Abbott from Chelmsford. Lindsay is a self-employed fitness instructor who, while running her own company, Shimmy and Groove, selfishly raises funds, unselfishly raises funds. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Good start. Unselfishly raises funds for needy charities, in particular at present, Kids Inspire, of course. She's also constantly looking to help individual people, especially by raising money with various events. The latest example is the story of a boy with cancer, untreatable in the UK, who she's helped to raise money. His desperate family had the near impossible task of raising £145,000 for his treatment in America. Lindsay has so far raised a massive £25,000 on their account. <laughs> the Pride of Essex highly commend community champion Lindsay Abbott. section is Dee Anderson from Brentwood. Now following the immense care that daughter Katie and her family received, Dee became a volunteer community champion for Little Haven's Hospice. In 2016, after Katie passed away, Dee, Dee began fundraising, starting with, uh, as well as would of course, a wing walk. Uh, it raised £2,000. But a powerful speech has since at corporate and community events have raised thousands of pounds more for other families who rely on Little Havens. Dee herself is quoted as saying, Little Havens has been my lifeline from the first day of Katie's treatment right through to her final breath. I will forever feel passionate about raising money, awareness and support for this special place. Katie's second home for as long as I may. Pride of Essex, highly commend, community champion, Dee Anderson. Next to be highly commended is Shelley Simmons from Billericay. In 2014, Shelley's baby son Fraser was not diagnosed with Duchenne muscular dystrophy, a condition which is over time leads to paralysis and a short life expectancy of just 25 years. Currently, there's no treatment or cure. As well as working full time and running her home and family, Shelley works tirelessly as an advocate for the Duchenne community, spreading awareness and ensuring people get to hear about the condition. What an inspiration she is. In June this year, to give her son a feeling of physical achievement, she climbed, climbed Mount Snowden, carrying four-year-old Fraser all the way on her back. What's more, in the process, she raised an amazing £12,000 for research. Shelley's husband, Jeff, who nominates her, said, Shelley is unstoppable in her mission to make a difference for other families. The Pride of Essex highly commend community champion, Shelley Simmons.
Sarah Scott from Nettlebury, near Saffron Malden, is a very special case. Sarah suffers from multiple physical conditions, such as dystonia and fibromyalgia, the physical problems of which have led her in the past to deep bouts of extreme depression. As a result, she doesn't enjoy going to new places or meeting new people. Physical activity can leave her exhausted. However, on Sunday the 3rd of September, helped by her sister Jess, she completed the Parallel London 5K Challenge. She raised a huge amount of money for her charities, which more than doubled her target. Sarah was nominated by Jen Hebbenton of Mind, who says, Sarah overcame physical as well as mental obstacles. Even putting herself forward for the challenge was a massive achievement. She has come an extremely long way already, and we at Mind are exceptionally proud of her and the amount of money she has raised to help us continue to provide our vital services. Please give a warm welcome to our highly commended community champion, Sarah Scott. Finally, we come to a man who recorded the highest ever point score for Community Champion. 99 marks out of 100. Detective Chief Inspector Daniel Stotton is part of Essex Police Major Investigations Team. He works a huge amount of hours dealing with very serious and difficult crime. Daniel and his wife, who also works in murder investigation, often have to juggle their time to organise the childcare of their family. He also manages somehow to run a charity focused on boxing and fitness centre in Chelmsford, where he started a gang diversion programme in the gym, giving free training to boys and girls who were at risk of gang involvement. Danny is known in the force as Danny Box. Few people outside the police force know that over the last six years, through boxing events, he's raised over £160,000 for disabled children. Yeah. Please welcome a true winner by a knockout, Potter's Community Champion for 2017, Daniel Stotton. <laughs> 